Appearing on MSNBC's Morning Joe on Monday morning, longtime Republican pollster Frank Luntz warned the Republican Party leadership that they need to do something to stop former President Donald Trump from announcing his plan to run again in 2024, if they have any hope of winning both chambers of Congress in November. Here's a look at the MSNBC discussion. Clearly, Republicans still see Trump as their most important political figure. His endorsement still matters, as we saw in that Maryland governor's race. But when they are looking forward rather than looking back, more and more Republicans are saying, enough. I don't want to focus on the past. I want to focus on the future. I don't want to focus on Donald Trump and an election that is now two years old. I want to focus on inflation. I want to focus on crime. I want to focus on Ukraine. And this is causing a significant problem for Trump. And I think it's the reason why he's more likely than not to announce in 2022 rather than wait till 2023. And one final point, if he does announce, he could actually cost the Republicans the House as well as the Senate. If the election is about the economy, Republicans win both. If the election is about Donald Trump, Republicans lose both. In his column for The Bulwark, former Republican National Committee spokesperson Tim Miller scorched the GOP for doing nothing to shed themselves of former President Donald Trump. According to Miller, Republicans are still dithering when it comes to shoving Trump out into the wilderness, in part because they need his fundraising prowess and ability to get out the vote in some races. Former Republican lawmaker Mark Leibovich wrote in his new book, Thank You for Your Servitude, that a former Republican congressman had told him recently that the party's only real plan for dealing with Trump in 2024 involved a darkly divine intervention. We're just waiting for him to die, he said. To which Miller added, instead they will soldier on, playing the same big game of pretend with our democracy in the balance. After all, the downside for humoring him for just a little more time is likely to be felt by other people. And the upside of humoring? That accrues directly to the Republicans who want power, before darkly predicting, but don't worry, eventually they'll be able to tell the truth, probably, as long as he's the one who croaks first. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to check out the headlines at rawstory.com, stay informed, and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.